We leave you tonight with rare insight into the Syrian civil war from some of its most vulnerable victims. Child refugees, too traumatized to speak of their experiences, are now expressing themselves with paint. And their evocative art, created in a refugee camp in Jordan, is now on display in a high-end gallery in London. CTV's Danielle Hamamjin has the details. Bombs falling, blood splattered, mass graves, and family burials. There is nothing abstract about war through the eyes of a child who's lost parents and in many of these cases, parts of his or her body. I work as a photographer um, and I try and capture some kind of reality. But the fact is that those paintings tell you things that, that no photograph could ever tell you. Here, Majdolin Ibrahim shows us how ISIS taught children how to kill and how refusal to cooperate would mean death. It's not just what you see there, it's the fact that a child has drawn it and drawn it quite graphically. They live in the largest refugee camp in the Middle East. And along with physio, were offered a type of therapy that seems so strange. At first, many of these children wanted nothing to do with this program, refusing to even acknowledge there was something wrong. And then they were introduced to paint. Progress through this kind of uh, expressive arts really reflects their, their incredible courage. There's this uh, horrific war. Our art journey, we start with them, we find the uh, pictures with dark colors, faces of death. What initially comes alive is somber. I keep wondering what that person is thinking. This is Iman Shayab's depiction of an abused child holding on to what's left of nature. And this is Khaled Masri, a 16-year-old orphan with cerebral palsy. He painted the mass grave. Now he's using brighter colors to show not what he's seen, but what he wants to be, a soccer player. This one, a student. Children who might never be able to speak of the horror they experienced, but can certainly show it and perhaps see beyond it. Daniel Hamamjin, CTV News, London.